Hi, today we are going to practice decimal division dividing by a whole number. I have a couple practice problems that we're going to work on together, but first I want to remind you that this problem is already set up in long division form. Your decimal problems on your own might be set up looking a little something like this. Remember, the first number always goes inside of the long division or the number that's written on top because that's the number that you are dividing. All right, let's get started with 3 and 2.7. Remember, for long division, we just ignore the decimal place and pretend this number is 27. So let's get started. How many times does 3 fit into 2? It fits in no times, so it fits in zero. Zero times three is zero. And two minus zero is two. We're at the same place we started before, so we have to bring down our next number. And now we ask ourselves, how many times does three fit into 27? Well, it fits in nine times. So that goes up top. 3 times 9 is 27. And 27 minus 27 is 0. Once you have a 0 and there's no more numbers to bring back down, you are officially done with that problem. Our last step is, since there is a decimal place, we have to bring it up. And so our final answer becomes 0 0.9. All right, let's try those same steps with 4.23 divided by 6. Again, we're going to ignore the decimal place and just pretend that this number is 423. So how many times does 6 fit into 4? It fits in 0 times. Six, <clears throat> excuse me, 6 times 0 is 0. And 4 minus 0 is 4. All right, we have to bring down our next number. And we have to ask ourselves, how many times can now 6 fit into 42? It can fit in 7 times. And 6 times 7 is 42. 42 minus 42 is 0. We have to bring down our 3. Now you ask yourself, how many times can 6 fit into 3? It can't fit in at all, so you have to remember to put up a 0. Again, 0 times 6 is 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. We're still at the same place we started, but we have a trick. We can add a 0. The reason you can add this 0 here is because technically our number is zero or 4.23. Think in terms of money. If you had $4.23, would it be any different? saying you had $4.23 with an extra zero added on. As long as this num zero is behind the decimal place, you could add zeros for as long as you wanted. And then adding this zero allows us to say, well, how many times can six fit into 30? And it can fit in exactly five times. Six times five is 30. 30 minus 30 is 0. And so we are officially done because we have 0 here and no more numbers to bring down. Our last step again is to bring up our decimal point. So our answer becomes 0 0.705. All right, I want you to try these last two problems on your own. Pause the video while you complete your work and then press play to check your answer. Welcome back. 
All right, remember, we ignore this decimal place, and we're going to pretend this is a 55. So how many times can 3 fit into 5? It can fit in one time. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. And then we bring down our next number. All right, how many times can 3 fit into 25? It can fit in 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. And then we subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. Let's bring down our next number, but wait, we don't have a number here. So hopefully remembered that you can always add a zero. And bring down that zero. Now we can ask ourselves, how many times can three fit into 10? It can fit in three times. Three times three is nine. 10 minus nine is one. Again, we're gonna add another zero because what? 3 does not fit into 1. Bring that down. You might be noticing a pattern that we're getting 1 and then it's going to fit in again 3 times here. That's 9. Subtract 1 and it's going to keep repeating and repeating. And hopefully you remembered to put that repeating bar up top. Again, our last step, bring up that decimal point. And so our final answer becomes 1.83. All right, last problem here. 5 can fit into 9 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. And 9 minus 5 is 4. We're going to bring down our second number again. So now we have to ask ourselves, how many times can 5 fit into 42? Well, it can fit in 8 times. And I apologize, my calibration is a little bit off so the um, pen won't write correctly. Alright, 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 can't fit into 2, so we add another 0 here. 5 can fit into 20. It fits in 4 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. Once we have 0 here and no more numbers to bring down, we are officially done. So our final answer is 1.84. There's two more problems I want you to try, and those are fraction review problems. So press pause while you try to remember and see if you can remember the steps, and then press play to see if you got them correct. Okay, hopefully you remembered to flip and dip. What I mean by that is we have to flip our second fraction and dip, it goes in, Division comes out multiplication. So our new problem is 1 9 times 11 over 2. Once we have a multiplication problem, we just multiply straight across. So 1 times 11 is 11. 9 times 2 is 18. Our last step is always to see, can we simplify? Unfortunately, we can't, so we are done. Again, we have to flip and switch. So our new problem becomes 3 fifths times 4 over 1. Then multiply straight across. 3 times 4 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. This one you can simplify because our numerator is larger than our denominator. 
So we say, okay, how many times can 5 fit into 12? So we start counting by 5s. 5, 10, 15. 15 is too big. 10 fit, though, and that was twice. And I used up 10, so I count up to 11, 12. I have 2 left over, and our denominator never, ever changes. So we have 2 and 2 twelfths. All right, don't forget to finish the back of your practice worksheet before you go on to the next video.